Onychomycosis is a fungal nail infection, also known as tinea unguium, and it accounts for about 50% of nail diseases. Onychomycosis occurs more frequently in males, also in those with immune suppression, diabetes, or those with poor blood circulation. Here are the types of fungi associated with fungal nail infections. They can be divided into dermatophytes, non-dermatophytes, and yeasts. Dermatophytes affect the nails more commonly, however non-dermatophytes often cause secondary fungal infections of the nails. That, that means if there is damage to the nail, they're able to penetrate and then cause the fungal nail infection. An initial patient complaint with fungal nail infections is discoloration and thickening of the nail plate. There may also be pain and tenderness in the affected area. Patients may also have fungal infections elsewhere in the body, for example, on the feet or on the scalp. We can classify fungal nail infections based on the type of infection or its appearance. One type is called distal subungal onychomycosis, and this is the most common form of fungal nail infections, often being caused by the fungi Trichophyton rubrum, and it invades the nail bed and under the nail plate. Another type is called proximal subungal onychomycosis, which penetrates a newly formed nail plate through the proximal nail fold. This type of infection more commonly affects those with immune suppression. A third type is called white superficial onychomycosis, and this is where we have a white chalky appearance of the nail plate due to fungal invasion of the superficial or outer layers of the nail. The fourth type is called candidal onychomycosis, where the candida yeast species invades the nails. In mild cases, there may just be the appearance of white spots called leukonychia. However, in severe cases, there may be yellow-brown discoloration and swelling around the nail fold. Onycholysis may also occur in such cases where we have separation of the nail plate from the nail bed. Lab testing is an important way to confirm the diagnosis of fungal nail infections because sometimes other nail diseases like nail psoriasis, yellow nail syndrome, nail tumors and trauma to the nail can give the appearance or the impression of a fungal nail infection. A fungal culture can be done where you take a clipping of the nail and soak it in formalin and then you send it to the labs for histopathological examination. If fungus is present, it stains positive with the PAS stain, which stands for periodic acid shift stain. Treatment of fungal nail infections are not instant and it may take time. That's because it takes 4 to 6 months for fingernails to grow out completely and 12 to 18 months for toenails to grow out completely. With asymptomatic cases, no treatment could be an option because sometimes oral antifungal medications may cause unwanted side effects. Oral antifungals can be used to treat fungal nail infections and these include the first one which we're going to talk about today which is terbinafine and this is often dosed at 250 milligram tablets which are to be taken daily for 12 weeks if it's a toenail infection and 6 weeks daily if it's a fingernail infection. There is a 50% cure rate for this medication so there's no guarantee that taking the medication will cure the fungal nail infection. There is also a risk of liver toxicity. Itraconazole is another oral antifungal and for toenail infections 200 milligrams daily for 12 weeks is often prescribed. If it's a fingernail infection the dosage protocol is a bit different. It's done in two stages where for seven days 200 milligrams is given daily and then it's stopped for three weeks. So no medication for three weeks and then after that another seven days of 200 milligrams daily. Now, itraconazole has a 40% cure rate and this drug should not be given to those with ventricular dysfunction or heart-related issues like congestive heart failure. There's also a risk of liver toxicity with itraconazole. In milder cases, cyclopyrox olamine, which is a nail lacquer, can be applied to the affected nails for 6 to 12 months. This lacquer can be used alongside the oral antifungal medication to increase their efficiency. The first sign that the medication is working is the appearance of a normal nail plate growth from the proximal nail fold region, which can potentially be seen within the first few months. A final treatment option could also be physical removal of the affected nail plates, and this could be combined with oral or topical therapy. Finally, to end the video, here are 5 tips to avoid getting fungal nail infections. 
The first tip is if you do have athlete's foot or some kind of fungal foot infection, um, it's really important to treat it as soon as possible. Athlete's foot in general is quite common, so treating it as soon as possible can help avoid the fungus invading the nails and causing onychomycosis. The second is to keep your feet clean and dry as often as possible. Wear clean and dry socks every day. That's the third tip. The fourth tip is if you're in a communal shower or a pool area, wear flip-flops or sliders, don't go around barefoot. And the final tip, which is the fifth tip, is don't wear old or tight shoes because you're at higher risk of causing trauma to the nails and therefore it can result in infection of the nails.